Welcome to Rose World, where you get to experience the big goat. No rap cap, just big Capricorn energy, baby. And it's your boy, Mr. PFG, aka Mr. Pervasive, aka Denzel. Mm -hmm. Coming to y'all from Rose World, as always, featuring the Queen, starring the Queen, starring. featuring me. For real. <laughs> I'm just extra. What's up, baby? All right, this week episode, because you, if you haven't tuned in to the intro, go back, like, share, subscribe. Oh, All right. But this week's episode is going a little bit more into depth on learning to love. Because y'all are nosy. Y'all want to know <laughs> how we learn to love, mm -hmm. how we met. Mm -hmm. What else? His people wondering, where did I come from? My people wondering, when did I fall in love? There's <laughs> a whole lot going on. There's a whole lot of everybody trying to figure out everything all at the same time. But guess what? We here to let y'all in. All right? It's the Rose and Moon Show. We're going to bring y'all good content on relationships, on our story, on just how to get more in tune with you and to how to just be free and just release you know, all of the control and just try to establish a little bit of love because we all need that. We all learning. We all mm -hmm. learning. It's a key. It's a key, big major key. So what you got for them this week? Okay, so this week I have decided we should just tackle how are we learning to love each other with two different backgrounds. Mm -hmm. All right. That's interesting. So do you want to do background stories or do we just go right and tell them how we met and then from there how we've been learning to love let's talk about let's talk about how we met all right and then from there we can paint the picture of how who we are created that all right that's cool go ahead Bet. Go ahead, Queen Rosa. Okay. So, from my perspective, my viewpoint of how we met. <laughs> so, do we meet June 20th? Or June 19th? June 10th. Yeah. But it wasn't really on June 10th, was it? Oh. <sighs> I was definitely at the June 10th cookout. That's what I was thinking. Hold on. Sorry, guys. Brief intermission. <laughs> yeah, we got just. We don't even know. <laughs> June 20th, no, like I thought. Yeah. The girl is always right about these little stories. It was a Juneteenth cookout. Yes. But we met on June 20th of 2020. Yes. Three three months ago? July, August, September. Four months ago, roughly. Okay, so at the time, um, <laughs> was I dating someone? Oh. Really? <laughs> <laughs> Not dating. But I did have a date to the cookout. Because, you know, I knew I was about to be around successful black corporate entrepreneurs. Because um, I was invited. Shout out to Tati and Jeremy. Shout out to the mob. Love y'all to death. Love y'all. So, I was invited by Tati because we do work together. Last year, post-pandemic. So, mm -hmm. during pandemic, I'm really not too ready to go but I'm like okay I told my girl I RSVP let me go and let me remind you guys this day I was feeling bad <laughs> bad <laughs> bad <laughs> so I had to tea aspirin sinus medicine did I say Advil too Advil NyQuil day Everything, because I'm a real friend. If I tell you I'm going to be there, I'm coming regardless. I come. We kicking it. I don't see this man. <laughs> I don't see him. Like, I arrived at like five. I don't think I seen him till like seven. Two hours in Tati House. It's big, but we were only on the first floor. So, there's no way. I don't know how to see him. So, anyway, two hours go by. Some just kept pulling me there like I could not leave. I don't know why. Like I'm like, I'm seeing people I know pass through and leave. Something is still telling me, just stay, just stay, just stay. So I'm kicking it. Okay. 
So seven o'clock comes and I see this fine six five man on the front porch dancing. And Rosebuds, y'all know who my favorite rapper? Who? Who? Future. Why was this man dancing to a future song? Uh, I don't even remember what future song though, I ain't gonna lie. You remember? Oh. Alright, he bopping. So I see him, you know, I think I'm too cool. I'm like, oh, okay, I see you. He think he too cool. So he still like, oh yeah. What's up, you wanna? And I'm like, nah, you know, I'll catch you later. So I go sit on the porch, play it cool, and we were all um, congregating. <laughs> and for lack of a better term. For lack of a better term. All getting to know everyone. And he's sitting by someone that I'll later find out that <laughs> is his cousin's girlfriend. Shout out to Atif and Geneva. Shout out to Geneva. <laughs> <laughs> Not gonna lie. <laughs> First glance, I'm like, okay, he's attractive, she's attractive, we all, I'm on this side, they're on that side, but they weren't hooked up or close to anything, but you know, we all grown, I'm thinking, what's understood, don't have to be explained, so if they are dating, it'll come out. Came out, they not. <laughs> so, we continue to talk, and then we moved to the porch to attempt to play spades. Atif was running that table and didn't want to get let us in. He was. He was running the table. How did that nah. even happen? Hold on, nah. that's, that's the latest story. Cause I don't know how. Anyway, he running the table, and if before the black culture, you know, if you and your partner, it's a list. And baby, they had they list, uh -huh. and they was not trying to get, let us in the table until the loser was declared lost. So, <laughs> whatever. So we go in the house and total strangers. He don't have my number. Barely probably knew each other's name. Barely. Barely knew each other's name. Barely. Um, and had to be space partners. Like, yeah. In my opinion, y'all know how that went though. We won. <laughs> Ain't no doubt about it. For those who have played oh, space hurt. with your boy, <laughs> y'all know what's up with me. For those who haven't, you can find out what's up with me. Period. Starring the queen. We sit across, check it up. We can have some bed. We can have some, Undefeated. some corn. We can Every time. All right. All right. But that's for the right. story. Right. Okay. So, space partners. And it's about 8 o'clock at this point, 8.30. And mm -hmm. I'm feeling him. Like, I'm texting my homegirl, Bria. Shout out to Bria. Shout out to I'm Bria. I'm like, girl, this man is keeping my attention. I'm a Capricorn and I don't know if you ever dated one, encountered one. We be everywhere. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> attention spans. That's the truth. You have to really intrigue us and keep the attention. Mm. So for me to be telling my friend, like, oh my gosh. It's some serious because he was really keeping my attention. Mm -hmm. Great conversation, laughs. Mm -hmm. He shared his cupcake with me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh. It was on. <laughs> this guy. So that's how we met. Your version. Do you have anything different to add? Yeah, I think that was the uh, synopsis version. That was cool. That was Cliff Notes. That was cool. That was a cool little three minutes for real. That was a cool little three minutes. I mean, I, the only thing I add is, first of all, do y'all see her? Ain't no way it took me two hours to see that she was there. <laughs> oh, you had been seen her? I peeped you when you walked in the door. Oh, yeah, I forget you said that. She walked in that door with the yellow pants on and the white tee with the Yeezy drip on. Looking fine, but I. Oh, my braids was cute too. Please don't forget the hair. They On were. Point. They was. You was dripping. Oh, uh, okay. You was dripping a little Jada pink head. You found me looking so I... fine. I wanted a piece of it too, but I couldn't let you know. All the rips. I nigga been going through a lot. Scorpio. So, so you know, I just had to sit back and just play the field, just see how see how she was. So I'm dancing. 
around the party trying to get everybody vibe, man. I know looking. <laughs> looking. <laughs> looking. Oh, I'm in the A for the weekend. Let me. Hey, my thing. Y'all be so hyped to come to Atlanta. <laughs> <laughs> but it ain't go like that. I made it one day, bro. Big Cat pulled up on me, so. This how, this how it all happened. I'm gonna let y'all in. She think it was the space. She seen me dancing to the future. I slid past it. She wanted a piece of it. She gonna hit me with some. I'm go crazy then. I don't talk like that. You always say I said that. I didn't say that, Denzel. So what you say? I said, I see you. Or something like that. I said, I see you. Something like that. Something like that. That's how you was saying it. Like, go mm -hmm. crazy. That's how he interpreted it. Two different backgrounds. Oh. Two different lingos, but it's the same thing. With Gina telling her side, and then Martin be telling his side. <laughs> hey, that's the big cat. <laughs> that's what we dealing with, baby. That's how she be looking at me <clears throat> when the fast guy be right. So she said, "I see," and I kept dancing, and I, you, you feel me, did my thing, and then when the next future song came on, I threw it back to her to see if she was going. Oh, I forgot we did that. And we did. She was failing it. So we end up on that floor. And, and she seen what it was hitting for. And I seen what it was hitting for. We line danced. We did. We was on that night. Man, we did have the stuff. We did. And then. Space and on the dance floor in one night. So from there, dance floor led to the space game. No, it was the space to the dance floor, baby. So the, no, I think you got that backwards. We was not on the floor first, was it? Mm -hmm. No, we went straight to Jeremy's table, I thought. We met on the dance floor. <clears throat> okay. We met as I was making my way to the dance floor and I came back and threw it to you. And then we actually, our first encounter was on the dance floor. That was it. No, baby. We were on the porch, right? Uh -huh. I'm over there. You know where we were. Uh -huh. Me, Nicole, um, Nigel, all that. We were over there first. And then we moved for the space game to the porch. You then already came through the house and you made it to the porch. Mm -hmm. Then you come sit down on the stairs next to Geneva. From that point, conversation flow. And we like, oh, let's play space. We go to the table. We like, oh, no spot here. We go through the house. Because I'm following you to that table. Then in the midst, I think, the DJ put on our song. Then we went and danced. Then we came back to the space. Table. Would you go with that? Can we go like that? Or you don't think it went like that? I don't think it went like that. No, okay. I think that's Big Cap. I think that's Big Cap. Um, How you... What you... Man. Okay. I just think your little fine self see me so, dance, who, and then so, you just hop on the dance floor with me. For that's me. a lie. Look at him. Did, <laughs> did, did I say her story was a lie? Babe. That's how we learn the, the love. first. <laughs> this is how we learn in the love speak. Oh well. So the first time I seen you on the porch, babe, we didn't go sit down first. You stay. I just automatically hopped on you. Like, yay! Yeah, I want to dance. That ain't what I said. What you say then? I said, you said, go crazy then. And what I do after and that? I started dancing. And then when the next future song came on, when did I the threw next, that back But to when you. did the next future song come on in the... Couple songs later. So we never went later. to the porch before I danced with you in your, <laughs> in your synopsis. We were, sitting on the, we were sitting on the porch the whole time. But I danced by you and went to the dance floor. That's when you said that thing to me. Right. No, 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 I no. came. I danced. I went through the whole house dancing. Yes, and came out to the porch. And, and that's when I said something to you. And everybody was cooling out on the porch, but you hadn't said nothing to me yet until I made my way back into the house to go to the dance floor again. That's when that future song came on. You see me dance and go back in there, and you said, "Oh, go crazy then," or you said oh, whatever yeah. you said. I said, "I see you." Yeah, yeah you I said, know. "I see okay. you," and yeah, and you I right. said something. I went and danced. <clears throat> Killed it on the floor, and then I came back outside. Yeah, came back outside, and, and then, then another, another future song okay, came. Okay, we on, go with it. And you stood up and started doing your thing, and I threw it back and said, "Go crazy, then." You feel you me? You right. And you went crazy, and then I hopped out there on the floor with you. You right. And we danced. 
Then where we go after that? Then we came back outside, was rapping a little bit, and they was talking trash about the spades. Oh, and by right. that time, you're right, you're right. we wanted to get on. And then we went in. Then that's when and we went we over did. and tip over the, the table. And then that's when she realized that she could trust me a little bit as a space partner. And you know, if you could trust a space partner, you, that trust go pretty deep for real. Facts. You could trust the man and not cut your books. You know, that, that's... And I didn't cut none of your books. And if you could trust somebody to go seven when, when I was 10, bed six, you know... It was a lot, a lot of trust. A lot of trust. A lot of trust. He was looking me in my eye like, what you think? You ain't got to be scared. I got you. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Let go. And that's how I went. So that space tank, that space game turned into a win at about, what was that, nine? It was about nine. And we went outside on the balcony and. That was about like 10, though. 10, All right, so we was out. We played space for about an hour and a half. We were in the house about an hour and a half. And then we took that win, went up mm-hmm. to the balcony to kind of celebrate and chop it up. And the porch, the up. balcony in the back. All right. So we ended up on the porch. Mm-hmm. And the porch turned into 6.30 a.m. <laughs> <laughs> of talking, guys. Just talking uh, about backgrounds, the first careers, day. kids or no kids. Past relationships. Past trauma. Past traumas. Where are you from? What have you seen? How did you get here? Mm-hmm. Like she said, she had a date. She was supposed to bring that date to the to the cookout. We talked about that. Thanks for not coming. Shout outs to you. You the real MVP. I even had to tell her about my, my encounter with my ex that week. The same week. The same week. Like three days before y'all. The devil be on y'all. The devil be on you. Shout outs to you. (laughs) And shout outs to you. Hey man. Hey y'all. It's nothing but love coming that way. We want no beef. No beef. Thank you. But shout outs to y'all. Y'all are the realest. Thank you for playing the parts y'all played. Fact. And bringing this union together. It's going to be lit. And showing us how to do it the right way. So, we were outside until about 6.30 a.m. Until neither one of us could feel our eyelids. <laughs> right. <laughs> we were like, okay, well, um, we're just... this, this, is, this is a new day. <laughs> we should leave now. I guess it's tomorrow now. So, I guess... <laughs> That's I guess we should, um like, do something else. Yeah. All right, so she went back to her house and... We kissed that night? Yeah, we kissed. How you not? I was kidding. You remember some go crazy dancing, but you don't remember kissing me at 6.30 in the morning? No, I needed the Big Caps confirmation that we kissed that night. Because yeah. you know how you try to hit. I ain't trying to kiss you on the first date. Gotta watch them fellas. So let them confirm first. We kissed. First we kissed. Day. 6.30 Four. in the morning. Ooh, got the big cat. I was so sick. I can't believe you kissed me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fool, <ooh>, baby. <laughs> if it was me, I would have been like, you cool and all, but nah, I'm lying. Let me see. I would have kissed you. You kissed me. You kiss me. <clears throat> like it, too. You don't even fake. Mm. Yeah, I liked it. It was lit. Okay. I loved everything about it. I'm, I ain't even gonna lie to y'all. I went right in the house afterwards and was like, Hell no. Hell no, it ain't just go that smooth. No way. Who sent you? Who sent me? God. What is this conspiracy theory? The angel of your eye. Who are you? How'd you all be at the Juneteenth cookout? Tati was hyping, baby, for real. <laughs> I'm, straight, I'm straight pressing down on everything. Like, how is this? There's no way she this fine and this cool and this, this, and this, that. And no man. And no man. She lying. She, she capping, bro. No way. Can y'all stop underestimating the fine woman? All we need is love, consistency, and honesty. We're not all 
City Girls. But shout out to the City Girls. Period. Because I was one a year or two ago. But since I'm on my walk with the Lord. Yeah, that's so so I, I was ready to get out the streets. Yeah. And that's something a lot of people didn't know. I don't feel like. So this is why it's so shocking that. All great things must come to mm. an end. Because your boy had a good run. But the jersey got to go in the rafters sometimes. Had to say bye to the streets. What better time than the present? During a pandemic. You lost one. <laughs> <laughs> but... All right, so that's the that's yeah. the story behind how we met, and um, as y'all can see, we've been lockstep every step of the way. Um, of course, there have been some clashes in culture. To keep it honest, like I feel like her being from Memphis, me being from Baltimore, her being a woman, me being a man, the experiences that she went through versus the experiences that I went through, the trauma. It all made us it all made us both different. Let's just say that. It, it sculpted our minds two completely different it's ways. Completely different and ways. a lot of times <laughs> when we're getting into it when we were getting into it, it was learning that it's we're not getting we're not even getting into it because we don't <laughs> we don't believe in the same thing mm -hmm. we're getting into it because we're believing in the same thing. but he's not saying it the way i'm saying it and i ain't saying it the way he's saying it because well, communication is crazy because he. it was the equivalent almost of me speaking spanish and her speaking english <laughs> she we're saying the same thing but because mine is in spanish she don't know what I'm saying because right. hers is in English. I don't know what she's saying, mm -hmm. you know, like, and that's, that's been a lot of the, the headbutting. So it's been taking a lot of patience and just a lot of communicating on another level, talking, analyzing things on, from a different perspective. Mm -hmm. If you want to elaborate, I don't know. You got a different side. What you think? Honestly, I'm ready to get to the nitty gritty. Okay. Let's talk Denzel about. is a <laughs> a poster magazine of walking excellence. He can speak life into a dead flower. But right. let's get back to the real stuff. Right. How are we learning to love each other? We are learning to love each other by praying, communicating, Facts. practicing Facts. patience, Facts. and having faith. Facts. Even though we just met in June and it's now August 29th. I said August October. 29th. It's okay. <laughs> thinking about that love and all of the work. I still like feel August. like I'm in August. I can't believe it's October. October like 29th. It's just, we have experienced a lot together in four months. Um... I've recently moved to Baltimore. Um, Shout outs to Rose. Who? Embrace it. I want to say that. Yeah. It's a big step, huge leap. I applaud her for being so brave and trusting me. And, um, and it's been crazy. Right. And it, many of you don't know, I have been on my own since I've been 18. Went off to college, went to a new city, and I was a resident of Atlanta, Fulton County, baby. Shout out to the A. For six long years. So, to move at 26 with the man that I just met, I'm having to learn to love this man. Everything that comes with him. His own house, his own independence. His family, his friends, his viewpoints. Mm -hmm. Let's get. Are y'all ready to get on this ride with us? I hope so. Are y'all ready? I hope so. Because it's going to be one for the books. 
You mm-hmm. know, because I've definitely had to learn you and how to handle a fine black queen and understand her speaking her mind and being free and also being independent and being excellent in everything she do and having a standard about her and learning how to be a man and be there for a woman who needs you, like not in the ways that she wants either. Mm, that's a good you know, one. Not in the way that she necessarily wants. She gets it. She Yes, there are certain wants that you have to fulfill, but ultimately a man has to love a woman the way she needs, needs to, be, to loved be loved and not necessarily how she wants, thinks. Wants. How she thinks now, it should go. Yeah, I think. You're right. You know. Because <laughs> the way I thought my husband was going to love me. I wasn't going to have to do nothing, to be honest. Like, and when I say nothing, I don't mean career-wise or bring something to the table. I mean, I thought I had it all figured out. I thought you was just going to come in. You was going to love everything about me. And I wasn't going to have to change nothing. And ladies, I'm here to tell you, being a woman is about submitting. Whew! <clears throat> Hallelujah. (laughs) But fellas, being a man is also not always about being the dominant and flexing and being strong. It's also about learning how to be the bigger person Mm. and how to eat your words and how to shoulder the load and allow her to be a woman and be emotional and to be soft and to... Just learn her way because she's going to make mistakes just like we're going to make mistakes. And you can't be that brute force all the time. You know, you got to practice patience. You got to understand the things that she's going through and be empathetic and sympathetic. And you just got to keep trying. You can't give up. Do y'all see how this man just be talking? You know I didn't took him through it. I'm like, you be talking a lot of... Shim, shim, shim. I'm testing patience around this one. <laughs> and that's on God. And I'm making him stand on every word. All that cute stuff and oh. mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So when I kick and scream, you gonna empathize. When I kick and scream, you gonna sympathize. And he's been doing it. It's been tough, but it's worth it. It's been worth it. So, are we going to tell him my secret now? Cops some merch. Tune in next week. (laughs)